Now, which way to go? Okay, boys, let's get out of here. This way! Fright from the ice! Curricular equals extra geeky. Why bother? Because it's the ticket into a good college. Look, I've already chosen 17 and I'm just getting started. Biology club, physics club, <laughs> biophysics club. Wait a second. That one looks promising. Ah. Since when are you interested in dance? Since I'll be the only guy in class surrounded by girls. As usual, you're totally missing the point. Let me see that. Hmm, no athletic clubs. <laughs> That's probably for the best. What's that supposed to mean? It means you have all the grace and coordination of a tree slug. <laughs> that is so not true. I happen to be very athletic. Oh, really? How soon we forget the triathlon. <laughs> <laughs> Those happen to be my three weakest sports. Uh huh, uh huh. Come to think of it, I do need some athletic clubs to round out my resume. <laughs> Good luck. Hmm. All right. I was in the mood for a mission today. of Glabfurians is extremely short. Can I try it? Actually, I think you're the last person who should try it. Uh, oh, come on, Martin. I'm sure Diana's athletic skill matches her keen intelligence. Hmm. the nearest restroom. Tiki Huladap Renko Fugrit. Oh, Martin Diana Java, Vimo with Slui Akavne. I think Mom needs a vacation. That was Melvarian. I've been learning one alien language on tape per day. At any rate, down to business, you'll be going to the French Alps to investigate a series of mysterious disturbances, not the least of which is the disappearance of a resort owner named Friedrich Schiller. Weird. What if he climbed so high he got sucked into an interdimensional wormhole? This is a picture of Friedrich's wife, Heidi. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Vicky Dojo. Flicorium whatnot. Yes, I would like another muffin. Hey, I wonder what this button does. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> you little fart of that. This way, guys.
I'm sorry I ever implied you weren't athletic, Diana. Obviously, you're ready for the pro circuit. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. You must be the agents from the center. I am Heidi. I am sorry to have kept you waiting. Agent Martin Mystery at your service, and this is Java and my mm. sporty sis, Diana. <clears throat> uh, Heidi, why don't you tell us about your husband's disappearance? It happened three days ago. Friedrich and I had been thinking of expanding the resort to include skiing, so he went up the mountain to scout out the area. I have just been beside myself with worry. My husband is an expert mountaineer. Dogs! <gasps> That's Friedrich's dog sled! Stay back, Heidi. It could be dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's investigate. Friedrich, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's frozen solid. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing to him? I'm running a check of his biosignals. Ma'am, your husband is alive. Oh, thank goodness. He appears to be in a state of suspended animation. What could have done this to him? I'm thinking this has something to do with it. It's so obvious. I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. Snow vampires. Instead of draining your blood, they freeze you solid. <laughs> that has to be the most ridiculous theory you have ever... Avalanche! Okay, that was a little too close for comfort. What was that? No, please, don't go. We'll have everything fixed in no time. Oh, this is disastrous. First my husband froze, and now this. Don't worry, Heidi. I know exactly what's behind this. A mountain snake. I I've heard the legends, but I never thought I'd actually see one in the flesh. <sighs> Martin, we don't have time for your outlandish theories. Avalanches happen all the time. They're a fact of nature. But I saw it, slithering up the mountain. Look! Go! Of course! That's the slime I saw before the avalanche hit. Oh. Venom, no doubt. <gasps> Is it hot? No, cold. We better send this to the center for immediate analysis. What do you plan to do next? Don't worry, ma'am. I know exactly what to do. We're going up the mountain. Sports vehicles. <sighs> this must be where the avalanche started. What could possibly sweep away that much snow? show people worshipping something on the mountain. What, what kind of something? I can't tell. It's some kind of altar. They're all over the place. Look! Let's spread out. Try to find as many clues as possible. Ah! Hey, guys! I found one carved in the shape of an arm. No, oh, wait. It's an actual arm. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, come on. Help me kick him up. 
From the look of his clothing, this man is from the turn of the century. Hey, he's from 1999? Is the cold making your brain numb? The century before that, as in, he's over 100 years old? Cool. Now look, he's got something in his hand. It's a map. Looks like the mountain and its surroundings. Huh. Hey, guys! Billy? How does he do that? Yeah. I have the results of the center's test on your slime. It contains freon and liquid nitrogen. When injected into the human body, it immediately freezes the subject in a state of suspended animation. We're currently working on an antidote. Yay! Thanks, Billy! No problem. I'd stop and chat, but I don't have any friends. Ciao! Something below. Uh, he's right, Martin. There's something moving under the snow. Stay back. Oh. Java! Don't move, Java! We're coming down! Ah! Ow! This is amazing! There must be an entire underground network of tunnels just beneath the snow. Dark, scary. What on earth could have made tunnels like this? This is far too elaborate for snow vampires. It must be the work of a giant mountain snake. I'm starting to wish a giant mountain snake would drag me away so I wouldn't have to listen to any more of your ridiculous... Oh, hold on, Diana! I was just kidding! He was activated. I could have selected. <laughs> All right, I promise never to doubt any more of your dumb theories. Even my theory about our school really being an extraterrestrial cloning lab? Hmm. Okay, maybe not that one. <laughs> Where is it taking him? Look, Martin, the pieces you cut off. It must be trying to return to its host, like how some amphibians can regenerate lost body parts. So if we want to rescue Java, we better follow it. Uh, you first, I insist. <laughs> Thanks, sis. We must be getting closer. You say that like it's a good thing. <gasps> I saw something. This way. Martin, I think I hear it breathing. Look at all the frozen people. Hey, there's Java. This must be the creature's lair. Let's worry about the creature after we save these people. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, no more surprises. We need to find out as much as we can about this creature before we do anything else. Bring out the legend X. Good idea. You watch activated. Legend X selected. There it is, Devil's Peak. Since prehistoric times, people who lived around the mountain have been worshipping the mountain god, a.k.a. Ice Topus. And it lists all the people who've disappeared on the mountain over the years. Diana, it's all starting to make sense. Remember the map in that frozen guy's hand? Yeah, what about it? I think everyone who disappeared was trying to colonize or develop the mountain. So this Isotopus, or whatever it is, is just protecting its territory. The ones who worshipped it and kept their distance were fine. The ones who trespassed got frozen and captured. Than that pal. 
so cool if I didn't have to fight this thing. <laughs> That's what you did to Diana. <laughs> Let's see what we can do about getting these frozen people out of here. Don't worry, Martin. Thanks to this antidote, Java should be as good as new. Monster hurt Java! Java, it's okay. You're fine. The monster won't be hurting anyone anymore. Oh, thank you for helping us. All in a day's work, Mrs. Schiller. What about all the unfrozen people? Well, they'll be placed under the immediate care of the center. Uh, what? Uh, Oops. Uh, sorry about your car, Mom. I guess the club slipped. <laughs> nice one, sis. Hmm. <laughs> hey, speaking of clubs, if we rush back to Torrington, I can still make my first dance class. Ladies, let the extracurricular activities begin. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Put on your outfit. <laughs> Seven. 